Hello there, I'm teacher Mark and today we're going to talk about a symmetry tool in Affinity Designer. Actually everything we're going to talk about can also be applied in Affinity Photo. So the tips are universal for both programs. And here we are in Affinity Designer. We need to move to Pixel Persona, change to Brush Tool, and then you will see the symmetry mode for this tool. It's why many people tend to say that Affinity Designer do not come with symmetry tool. It is here, but it's more like a mode for brush tool. Take a look, it's here. You can turn it on. We can rotate this line as we want. We can even create multiple lines for symmetry. And then if I start painting with my current paintbrush, I will have a symmetric experience. Take a look. This is very basic brush using mouse, as you can see, but it's doing the job. So we got the symmetry. I set up three different lines here. So I got a nice duplication happening. All right, so as you can see, the symmetry tool is here, but it's not like a mode for the whole artboard. It's more like a add-on to the brush tool. So you can use it only with brush tool. I can even move the center of the symmetry and continue from here. So if you are on the tablet or using maybe the iPad version with Apple Pencil, that's actually really nice option for you. The biggest downsides of this symmetry mode for the brush tool is this is a pixel based tool. So now I'm creating raster graphics. So if you are in Affinity Photo, that's kind of obvious. But here in Designer, we most of the time we just want to create vectors. Take a look. I zoom in. We got very rough pixelated edge here. So that's not what most people want in Designer. So. There is symmetry for the brush tool, but how about the symmetry for the vectors for the whole artboard? We can get this effect using a trick. Take a look. Simply draw a rectangle and resize to the half of your artboard. Now I will open Studio for symbols. And at this rectangle, I just draw as a symbol. Here it is. Now I will drag this symbol back. So I get add a copy of it. Place next to existing symbol, we just draw and flip. Like a mirror image of it. Perfect. Now we got two symbols in this artboard. And whatever I draw in the one symbol will appear in the another one. Let me draw this line drag and drop this line inside the symbol on the layer panel. Here it is. Now this is inside the symbol and the duplicate of the symbol I drag and drop to the same artboard is already showing me my line. So this is how you can kind of set up a symmetry tool yourself for your vector drawing as well. Simply create a symbol covering the half of the artboard then duplicate that symbol and also flip, mirror flip that symbol. Be sure that your shapes you draw are inside the symbol. So sometimes you need to double check and drag them inside your layer. In my case, I don't have a stroke on it. Here it is. Cool, now it's better, we can see it. All right, again, I'm using pen tool right now, so definitely a vector tool. I cannot see duplicate because I draw outside the symbol, but when I drag it in, as you can see, I got like a little real life experience. It's one to one symmetry. So we kind of set up our own symmetry tools using symbols. So that's definitely possible. You can do it yourself in designer, in photo, in publisher. So if you need a very basic symmetry tool just for paintbrush, it's already here. It was added in patch 1.7, as I show you at the beginning of this video. 
if you need a little bit more complex symmetry for the whole artboard, you need to create symbols. Of course, as you may guess, you can create more than one copy of the same symbol. So let's resize this to just quarter of the artboard. And now I will duplicate this symbol to have four in total. Of course, I also flipping to have this nice mirror effect. Otherwise, I will have exactly the same thing on each one. If I flip them, I will have a mirror effect. All right, now I got four symbols. And if I start drawing inside one of them, I got a nice duplication on the both axes. This is 100% vector line with handmade <laughs> symmetry tool in Affinity Designer. It can be quite tricky to see the symmetry line. So in addition, you can drag and drop lines from the ruler like this to the center. So you will be able to see those blue lines as the guidance. All right, then you can start with the new shape, new line. If it's not appearing in all four sections, simply drag and drop the line inside a symbol and that will fix your problem. Okay, so I just want to show you that it is totally possible to use a symmetry in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. I hope this tip was useful and I hope I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.